Welcome back everybody. I'm back with an amazingly great video for you. I'm going to try to keep this real short, real simple, real sweet. I'm going to show you how to make this amazing guacamole dip and some homemade chips. So go ahead and let's get started with the video. But first, before we get started, I want to show you my really cool and badass knife I recently picked up. It is a Powden, Powden? It's one of them damn names. It's a wonderful wood handle, beautiful logo on the back side, on the handle end. It's got this wonderful Damascus steel look to it overall. Very, very sharp. I love it. It's one of my new favorite knives. So to get started, we are going to cut and dice, cut, peel, and dice a red onion. There's no need to rush. We're just making guacamole. We're also going to do the same thing with a tomato. So we're going to go ahead and cut and dice up a tomato. Again, take your time. There's no real need to rush this. We're making art. Is what we're doing so once we have everything nice and uh, diced up let's go ahead and talk about the avocado now to make sure that you have the proper avocado that it's good enough you want to give it a nice little squeeze if it feels kind of mushy it's a ripe avocado if it's too hard you don't want it this one's good so let's go talk about cutting the avocado you're going to start at the tip you're going to put the blade in and you're going to feel that pit and just roll the avocado around your knife give the avocado a little twist there's the pit to get the pit out smack it with the knife it should hold in nice and sturdy and just give it a little twist that pit pops right out next you take a spoon and just going to scoop it all the way around the skin of the avocado there's no need to get fancy and cute with little dice jobs and whatever we're just trying to get everything out so for this recipe i'm using five avocados half of a tomato and half of a red onion along with some lime juice and a clove of garlic now to get this mashed up, you can use a pestle and mortar if you have one, or you can use a food processor. I like using the backside of a spoon, and we're just going to go ahead and mash it up into the bowl and use the side of the spoon to chop it up a little bit as we mash it down. We want to get this into a nice little paste like here so it's not too chunky, and then we're going to add a wire whisk. Now the wire whisk can add a little bit of air and it helps with that mashing process into making it a nice and creamy avocado dip. And this is exactly what we want right here for our base. So now that we have our base, we can move on to the next thing. We need the lime juice. Now to get the lime juice out, you want to roll the lime with a little bit of pressure, cut it in half, and go ahead and squeeze that in one half at a time. Again, I used a whole lime for this. Once you have that lime juice in there, go ahead and give it a nice little stir. Give it a little mix up. Mix it all the way around. Next, we're going to add our red onions and our tomatoes. And we're going to add the, you know, stir it up a little bit more. Make sure everything's very well incorporated and it's nice and smooth. Next, we're going to talk about cilantro. Now, cilantro is an amazing herb. It's an amazing ingredient. I'm going to go ahead and speed this camera up just a little bit so you can watch me chop it. And what we're going to do is we're going to ball up the cilantro and then we're going to just chop it up. Once you get to a point to where it has been roughly chopped, then we will rock the knife back and forth like this until we have a nice chop. Now, if you bruise your herbs, you'll know because you can see a green dye on your cutting board. Green dye means that you bruised the herbs and you're losing flavor. You don't want to lose the flavor out of your cilantro, not when you're making guacamole. Once you have everything all scooped up and ready to go, we'll go ahead and add that into the guacamole. Once it's in, we're just going to go ahead and give it a nice little uh, stir with the whisk. Now we need to talk about garlic. I'm using fresh garlic, not uh, pre-shredded or pre-grated uh, garlic. And we're going to give it a couple smacks with a knife to break the shell. And we're going to go ahead and peel the garlic. Using fresh garlic is way better than using uh, powdered garlic. Okay. I use fresh garlic whenever I can. Put it into the crusher. Go ahead and give it a nice little squeeze. Let that garlic crush down and get in there. Any garlic that doesn't fall, you can scrape off with the back side of your knife. So we're going to go ahead and mix that up and get that all mixed in there until it's a nice even paste. Like I said, this video is going to be really quick. It's going to be really fast. Hope you can pay attention and, pay, and uh, follow along. It's really easy to make. You can make this at home. When you're ready to, when you're not using the guacamole. Put it into a bowl, put some cellophane or plastic wrap right on top, right against the avocado. You don't want air. Air will make it go brown. <clears throat> now we need chips. With no store-bought chips are going to work. We got to make chips. And to make the chips, we're going to use corn tortillas. These are small uh, tortillas that you can buy at any store. So we're going to cut them in half. And then we're going to cut them in the fours. This way we have eight total pieces. Now the size chip that you want could be any size. Really, I just decided to go with four uh, slices here, four little triangles, because 
it just seems to work with really well with my family so this is really all that you really need to do to make the chips right here okay this is the what you're looking for next we're going to take a look at all of our chips this is exactly what we want this is all the chips you're going to get out of one stack of corn uh tortillas we're going to fry these up into peanut oil i love using pe hey get back here I love using peanut oil. So we're going to go ahead and throw some peanut oil into the deep fryer right here. This is a clean deep fryer. I clean it quite often actually and I change out the oil quite often because you want to. Once the oil has been heated up 350 degrees, we're going to hang the basket and we're going to throw the chips inside. And then we're going to slowly lower it into the oil and give it a nice little shake as it goes in there. And we're going to let it bubble up and cook. And we're going to use a metal skewer to just kind of poke and prod and get the... Uh, corn tortilla you know around and about make sure everything gets coated up once the oil stops bubbling how it is here you'll notice here it's not bubbling as often now we're good to go so we're going to let them hang dry for a little bit because you don't want all that oil in the pot or in the pat next we're going to go ahead and dump them into the pan here or into a bowl add a little bit of kosher salt for a little seasoning and we're going to go ahead and mix these up give them a nice little stir once they're good go nice and warm nice and hot now we're ready to plate up and we're ready to go so to plate it up i got this really cool looking dish here thanks to my wife i don't know where she got it honestly but we're going to go ahead and pile in the avocado right here in the middle where the sauce can go you can put literally anything in this bowl I, honestly we love this bowl we're going to go ahead and put the avocado in there as you can see it's nice and creamy it's consistent it holds its shape it's not watery it's great it's not chunky we're going to go ahead and add the chips so go ahead and add as many or as little chips as you want. If you don't have a fancy little bowl like this, you use a regular bowl. You can use a plate. It really doesn't matter. It's entirely up to you. That's what's great about cooking. You can add and change things, right? So this is everything that we have right here. Like I said, really simple, really easy. Here's the finished product. Homemade, fresh guacamole. You can make it whenever you want. Homemade, fresh uh, corn tortilla chips. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you at my next video. Thank you.